and welcome back to Beef Reacts. Today, we're watching Camp Camp Episode 5, Journey to Spooky Island, which, first off, Spooky Island's a phenomenal, phenomenal place from Scooby-Doo. I wish I could go to Spooky Island. I've been to places like Spooky Island, but I've never been to Spooky Island, and I sure would like it because I like Scooby-Doo a lot. Honestly, I could react to a lot of Scooby-Doo. Not Velma. I refuse to watch or even think of Velma because I have... Nothing but disdain. And I'll talk about it often. Like, I've said it before, if you know me, you know that my anger, my resentment, my hurt, the thing that gets me deep inside my heart, is the fact that the Hex Girls movie, my goth mommies, didn't get to come back. But, Elma? And you know who I blame? I blame you. The audience because you hate watched it you could have just you could have just took people's words for it but instead you hate watched it which caused it to have some type of fucking views which caused Mindy Kaling to continue to have a career making Scooby-Doo instead of doing what she does best which is writing movies or making office episodes I don't fucking know what she does I just know I don't have Scooby-Doo the Hex Girls movie and that frustrates the living fuck out of me. Anyway, um, so what we did last time where we inverted and then had the opacity down, it worked. It worked incredibly well for Camp Camp. As in, didn't get didn't get any problems. That being said, are they going to manually re review it now and then and then strike it because you're allowed to do that? Which is perfectly fine, I just, it, but then it's just like, why even fight it at that point? Because there's no reason to fight it. <sighs> um, Kappa Mikey got taken down twice, so I'm going to try to re-upload that over the weekend unlisted with, like, doing what I'm doing for these videos. Um, same thing with Fate. I'm going to try to do what I'm going to do for this one today. Now, here's here's the thing. It worked for Camp Camp, did not work for Hell of a Boss. So, that tells me it kind of works. It's in the maybe camp. And I don't hate the maybe camp. What I hate is waiting to do things that should easily be done. I hate lines. I hate being put on hold. I hate... I, I don't hate the word no. I actually enjoy the word no because it makes me have to be creative. No, you can't do that. Well, I sure would like to. So, that means today for this video, we're going to try, we're going to do a Gaussian Blur. I believe I'm going to try to do, I'm going to do it enough to make it look like you see the way I see. Now, I am legally blind. Um... I shouldn't say legally blind. I have medically necessary lenses, which basically means that uh, the eye doctor had to write the gov and be like, hey, yo, um, this kid's fucking blind, and if he doesn't get glasses, he will not be able to function as a human being. So I have contacts right now, but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm getting up there. I'm getting up there. I could get LASIK. I should get LASIK. I won't get LASIK, though. I like being special. So, um... We're gonna try to like put a blur around the screen over here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to blur that bitch out. We're gonna blur it out. We're still gonna do the pitch correction. I don't know if it's gonna be too annoying. I was at one twenty five before, uh, so it went up like I think half a pitch and twenty five cents is the way it works. This is a bunch of editing mumbo jumbo that you probably don't care and probably never hear other reactors talk about. I'm telling you it because it's kind of like. Um, I like to keep, I, I don't know. I like to keep the audience involved and I like to hear you guys just respond and talk about it. I think that if you're someone who wants to make a YouTube channel or if you're someone who wants to try to do this, you should know that like, these are legitimate things that you're gonna have to deal with. So here you go. If you ever want advice, ask me questions. I do a lot more than just reactions, but like, I like to be a resource as much as I like to be an entertainer, so fuck it, let's jump into it. 
Pacquiao presented by the latest Rooster Teeth documentary, The World's Greatest Head Massage, an ASMR journey. Part 1 available now for Rooster Teeth first members. Part 2 premieres July 15th. Start your free 30-day trial at roosterteeth.com. Hey, yo. It's the summer of animation, bitch! Dude, I love being an asshole. Wolf howling. The thing drew closer with its inhuman breathing and claws clicking against the floor with each step. I really like the way that they're doing the shadow here immediately. Dope as hell. Um, nice storytelling in and of itself. And this animation's not easy. Desperately, the young boy pulled the sheet off the creature to reveal the dog that got tangled up in his laundry. Ooh. And that's why you should always properly fold and put away your laundry. King! Well, it was scary when it happened to me. I was very innocent and impressionable back then. Mm -hmm. So, last week? What's scary is how much I want to kill myself right now. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so once, there was this girl that no one really understood. So help me. This involves vampire romance. <laughs> well... Yeah, it could have been werewolves. Uh, here's here's the thing, everyone. You gotta you gotta you gotta know straight up, like low key, high key. Twilight is a really well written series, and it would have been great if Stephanie Myers wasn't a Mormon because then the ending that was weird as fuck wouldn't have happened. But like it did happen, and we just we just live in that life now. But like Twilight, low key, it's like it's it's not bad writing. I'll 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 bite the bullet. I'll say it. I know Twilight Hate was big. I'll be contrary and fuck y'all. It's I enjoy it. I Midnight Sun. I enjoy it. Fuck y'all. It, it could have been werewolves. You don't know. Here's a horror story. Go look at the job market you're dealing with after this camp shuts down. So nothing scares you, Max? Not even ghosts? People in sheets got me concerned, but nah, not even ghosts. Just not a screamer. People in sheets got me concerned. What the hell? Wait a minute. How is it that you weren't even phased by that? Might have helped if I hadn't put it in a suit to begin with. All right, tough guy. So you think you're so tough? What the about hell? That and wailing? It's just teenagers from that church camp working on those repressions again. Not that I know anything about it. Just being a kid and all. Ah, what about that? <laughs> church camp working on their repressions and all. My God. Oh, Pirate camp's practicing night sailing. Guys! Guys! Please be puppy, please be puppy, please be puppy, please be puppy. What the blue ball blazes is happening here? King! <laughs> well, like, you know, I'm gonna say it. People that aren't scared of things, how? How are you not scared of living everyday life? Like, let me tell you, I'm a pussy. Like, I know that about myself. And, like, I I don't understand what it is with, like, dudes and pretending to be so, like, have all this bravado, like, they're not scared and somehow thinking that that's, that means that you're brave. No, bitch. If you're not scared, you're not being brave. You're just not scared. Like, you're, it's like, oh, God, there's a suit, there's a, there's a maniac on the loose. And I'm gonna go and fight him, and I have I have no fear of fighting this thing. I I'm gonna say it. I don't think that makes you brave. I think that I think that just it makes it a fucking Tuesday for you. I think Scooby Doo gets bravery right every time. You're terrified, but you do what needs to be done while being fucking terrified. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments below. But I'm just saying I don't think bravery is this is this. I'm I. I can do it all the time. Bravery is, damn, somebody can hurt the people I really care about, and, like, I need to do something about it. <laughs> That's bravery. Bravery is turning the lights off and slowly walking up the stairs. That's bravery. I'll say it. Bravery is getting out of bed every morning.
to believe but guys and gals it's true Dan Campbell is the face for me and you There's moving lakes and clever trees Catch fish, bugs, bears, and honeybees There's endless possibilities And no, that's not hyperbole Our mottos can be DM And that means I'm telling you Big bet. Huh. Woo! Hey, <laughs> quartermaster. Someone out here killing campers. We're fine, QM. We're just having some good old campfire scary stories is all. But we could try. No dead campers in? Nope. We're good. Rep. Rep! And to be sure, no one's doing anything stupid like trying to get over to Spooky Island. I do like what? Spooky Island. No, of course not. Not even on the night of the new moon, right? When ghosts walk the island and demons rise from the pit and aliens kidnap any trespassers and probe their tender. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm getting the vibe that Max is going to want to go over there because Max is the fucking worst. Hey, we get it, don't we, kids? Anuses. I was going to say anuses. <laughs> What's with Space Case? Squirrel explosion. Huh. So the revolution has begun. Well, best be getting you back to camp for a rabies shot. Oh, not again. <laughs> In my words, you better stay away from Spooky Island. No reason to go there. Definitely not spooky. Stay away. You think he's hiding something? Uh, yes. <gasps> Maybe it was the ghost he was talking about. Could you it's a platypie. Ghosts don't exist. You die, and then you're faced with eternal nothingness. It's it sounds like Cap. You die, and then eternal nothing nothingness. That doesn't make sense because if you're face, you w you wouldn't be faced with eternal nothingness. Nothingness, like, like if you die and there is no afterlife, there is nothing. Like you're not faced with eternal nothingness. It's it's the ceasing of existence. So like the ceasing of consciousness. Like your conscious doesn't get teleported to like a void and then you're just vibing in the fucking nothing it's like non-existence which is something that's really difficult to imagine i would say nigh impossible but then again i maybe i just don't have a good imagination when it comes to that type of thing i just like like if you ever try to imagine the ceasing of existence, you you really can't. Like, you can imagine what it'd be like if you're not here or what people's are lives like because that's just having an imagination. But, like, imagining what's after what's after the life. Because if there's nothing, then you can't imagine anything. If there's something, you come up with some idea. It's it's a weird, it's a weird thing, you know? Like, it's, it's a very odd place to be in. Ghosts don't exist. You die, and then you're faced with eternal nothingness. Okay. It's gonna be great. How do you know you've never died? Oh, could you imagine being the first person to find a ghost or a monster? That'd be fun. Make the cover of Science Magazine. Hey, that's a magazine about science. Shut up. No, it isn't. There's nothing to be afraid of, and I'll prove it. I straight up. He's such a dick. Like he gets bullied at actual school, and he should get bullied at actual school. Like I, I stand by that so hard and if you're out there and it's like you're a big max fan i think he's hilarious i think he's so fucking funny i just think he's kind of the worst like everyone else is much right, cooler hunters let's hunt some spooks don't i don't that. i don't yeah i don't like i don't like the way i don't like that <laughs> do we actually have a detective team name now Ooh. We need a theme song. Yes. Hey, do you know how hard it is to find a good pocket theremin? I'm counting on it. Now focus. Unless that's your backup singer, we already got company. I... Like, that's just me. Who the hell are you? Me? I'm Jasper. But who are you? What are you doing here? Jasper, the friendly ghost. So he's a ghost. This is the last place you want to be on a night like this. Real spooky night. Terrible creatures seek out the mansion. And the wailing. Oh gosh, the wailing. And then the bumping and the night starts. And they bump and they bump and... 
Hey, where'd you go? What? The platypie? Well, what is this place? Looks like Campbell's old summer home. What the hell was that? I told you, dude. There are things inside. Things? Like monsters? I knew it. Wait, are you guys here to help stop the monsters? Are you like a gang of mystery solvers? Like the I... Harlem Globetrotters? The Harlem Globetrotters have solved many a mystery. And they are great at it, by the way. That's actually, like, one of my favorite Scooby-Doo things. If you've never seen it, Scooby-Doo meets the Gar Harlem Globetrotters. Part 1 and Part 2 I own on DVD. Pretty much. Oh, wow. You guys got a theme song? We're working on it. Radical. Look, man, you're kind of ruining our dynamic. We're a comedy trio. Besides, there's nothing inside. <gasps> there's something inside! Clearly. A monster! Yawn. We'll see who's yawning and we're all dead! <laughs> Why would we... All right, Sasquatch! Let's... Tango. Queen! Ah! Calm down, the storm just tripped the power. Oh. Someone just pissed themselves. Ah, if only I had my LA gear light up shoes. They light up the night. Wonderful. Queen! Ah! It's a stuffed bear. Hello. Ah! It's a second stuffed bear. Oh, that seems redundant. Yeah, and I, I love think bears. Let's just get the power back on. Right! We shall not waver on our quest for the undead. Nikki, there is nothing here. That kid is 100% dead. Meal! What the hell did you do? Don't have a cow, man. I'm just trying to be part of the gang. Oh my god. You have to get in here quick. Meal, what is it? It's beautiful. I hate A him. lab. Do you know how long it's been since I was in a real lab? This is where I wanted to be this summer. Oh, my sweet science. Weird science, more like. Check. Something tells me that uh, this lab is going to be done for some heinous, heinous crimes against humanity. Check it. Oh, that's much better. Ah! Yeah. They are monsters. Take a cartoon literally number 305. Oh. You can't go uh, yet. You still have to rid the island of the evil. Yeah, come on, Neil. Shake it off. Don't lose your sense of adventure. I am not Bitch about got this a shit, Nikki. Gapple. Science has its limits. Don't be so naive. This is mild experimentation at best. Do you have any idea what goes into fast food? Not that. that. I don't think that. I would assume not that. That looks like a dictopus. Coctopus? Coctopus. <laughs> Hey, yo, pass me the cocktails. <laughs> now, if all the tentacles had their own little mushroom tips, that'd be fucking hysterical. There's a third basement. The tormented souls of the dearly departed. The Someone's... Ugh, a trail of hair and blood. Some of them getting getting Who fucked down cares? there. It's just gonna be a wounded dog or some other coincidental colossal waste of time. You're just scared. I am not scared. You know, technically speaking, in horror movies, I know I pause a lot, whatever. Um, in horror movies, Max is the one who gets brutally murdered the most. So maybe think about that next time you want to be skeptical. Because if you end up in a horror movie, being the skeptic means that they punish you much worse than they do anyone else. Am I basing that probably off of Cabin in the Woods? More than likely. But it always makes for a cool kill. He's going to get gutted through his throat, and then when he's like... Yeah, real. It's like, ah, I was too late. I should have not been a skeptic little bitch. I feel like we've established this by now. Max is scared. Max is scared. Max is... Oh, my God. Jesus fucking Lord. Well, we made it, Nikki. Are you happy now? I don't want to be here. You know what? On second thought, maybe the evil's unstoppable. We should all go home. We could play some Pogs. Forget this ever happened. Oh, pogs. no! We have... Play some Pogs. Harlem Globetrotters. That kid's from the fucking 90s. He died in the 90s, possibly the 80s. And he's the ghost who's showing them all this shit. find ghosts and monsters, remember? I don't want to be here. Max, come on. This is way too spooky. No, it isn't. You know what this is? Proof that the founder of Camp Campbell is a rich piece of shit with terrible morals and who also potentially kills people. 
All things I was already pretty sure of. I don't want to be here. But the monster! The whales! You can't explain that! Actually... <laughs> Hell, I can't! And also, respect to Nikki for being, you know, the best. For being the only brave one because she has shown fear but still proceeds forward out of genuine curiosity. We love a queen like Nikki. We fucking hate a king like Max. What are you doing? There is no such thing as monsters. There's no such thing as Someone's monsters, having sex behind there. Is there is nothing to be afraid of. Don't! Based on no... Limits, no shame, erectile dysfunction pills, Campbell Corp. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, take it all in, everyone. I know you've probably seen it before, but take it all in. Take it in. I forgot I'm blurring this image, but take it in. Just take it in for a moment. Have fun. Let it be you. Let you see the shame and the dignity that these old people have as they're going in for a last bang. Knowing that they don't need condoms because most of these women are probably menopausal. Wild. I warned you, child! Guess that goes to show that sometimes the only thing scarier than monsters and ghosts is real life. Amen. Specifically old people having sex. Yeah. Weird kinky sex in a dungeon. Yeah. Boy, that is, that is some dark shit. Anyway. Called it! Yo, you can catch me rolling with the best and shooting at the rest every day. Common man, never change. Oh, course, the professor sit down for the lecture. Cause I'm about to dig deep in your brains like Lecter. Focus on the clock to the masses in the crowd. Pay attention as you listen while the speakers bang loud. And Do they have their own uh soundtrack? Because if Camp Camp has a soundtrack, let it be known I will be listening to the soundtrack here. Cause this shit. Hits. It's hard to digest, and I suggest that you turn a deaf ear to these words I manifest. I know doubt I got my hustle game strong, and my knuckle game too. Only want to prove it wrong, a ferocious competitor. Rap season veteran, bringing mad color to the track like melanin. Bringing mad color to the track like melanin. That's a fucking bar and a half. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you don't mind, like, comment, share, subscribe. I know we're on a journey together right now. We're always on a journey, but that's the fun thing about life. It's a series of unending journeys. You could be in a pit. You're in your you're in your rising action. You could be in your pit. You could be in your depression. You're coming out of it. That journey of you slowly climbing your way out of hell, it's beautiful and you deserve it. I hope you get to your day new monsoon. Right now, our journey is figuring out YouTube. And then after this journey, we go into Madoka, we go into Fate, we go into whatever the worlds are oyster. I said it before, if you haven't seen it, check out Van Life. I'll be doing maybe a skit. If people like the skits enough, I'll try to do a skit show every once a month or some shit like that. Because you know what? Why limit it to reactions? Why not play video games? Why not do the multi-versatile things that make a human being a human being? Because it's fun that being said we're gonna vibe we're gonna go i post every day i'll see you tomorrow with hell of a boss and then maybe just maybe we could be homies we can always be homies we're homies don't be don't be like that just be a homie be a homie act like you don't know me you know what i mean anyway uh peace out pogs out and uh stay sexy I uh, shouldn't tell my potentially underage viewers to stay sexy. Stay handsome. Peace out.